Hi, in this Big Data and Hadoop tutorial series presented by Coso IT, this video is focused on Scoop. In this topic, we will be talking about overview of Scoop. What is Scoop? We will see the Scoop workflow. We will be talking about Scoop import and its command and some Scoop export command. Also, we will see what are Scoop jobs and we will be doing a hands-on on how to create a Scoop job. What is Scoop? Scoop is a kind of tool which lets you import data in bulk from structured data sources such as relational databases like MySQL, Oracle, etc. to Hadoop like Hive, HDFS and HBase. It has a functionality that you can import all tables, a single table or a portion of a table into HDFS. It also lets you export data from Hadoop cluster back to relational databases. So Scoop is acting as a bridge between data sources and Hadoop and basically allows you to exchange data back and forth. So Scoop stands for SQL plus Hadoop. That makes the word Scoop. It was created by Cloudera and then it became an open source. Scoop is a command line tool and is a single client program. So whenever you write a Scoop command, Scoop internally generates MapReduce code to transfer the data. Scoop splits the data source or we can say divide the task among mappers on the basis of primary key in the table. And by default, Scoop creates four map tasks, which we can configure using Scoop command that we will see later in the video. Another important thing about Scoop is that it works with anything that is JDBC compliant. But for non-compliant databases, there are Scoop connectors. And the most basic connector that ships with Scoop is the generic JDBC connector. Let's see the Scoop workflow. On one side, we have external data stores like relational databases, document-based systems like MongoDB, NoSQL, and data warehouses. On Hadoop side, we have HDFS, Hive or HBase. So there is some exchange mechanism going between them. So Scoop import. It's the process of getting data into Hadoop from data sources. And Scoop export is the process of taking it out of Hadoop and put it into relational world. Now we will see how we perform Scoop import and export using Scoop commands. But before that, let us see how scoop import command works internally. So when client submits scoop command through command line interface, the first step is scoop gathers the metadata. Metadata is information about data like number of columns, their names, data type, etc. So scoop fetches the metadata and in second step, it launches Hadoop map only job. And there is no reduction phase. Why is there no reduction phase? Because we are only fetching and loading the data and there is no aggregation kind of thing happening here. So reduction phase is not required. Scoop by default creates four map tasks and it distributes the input data among the mappers equally to get high performance. Then each mapper creates connection with database using JDBC and fetches the part of data assigned by Scoop and write it to HDFS in the form of output files. I'll give you a simple example for this. There is a departments table. So what happens first a parallel connection is created with the table and table is divided into four parts, four equal parts and Scoop will parallelly load the four parts of the table data into HDFS. Now supposing in departments table there are a thousand records then it will be divided into four parts as 0 to 250, 250 to 500, 500 to 750 and 750 to 1000. Now each part will be given to one mapper. So these map tasks then work parallelly and load the data into HDFS. Output file generated uh, in the HDFS will by default contain comma delimited fields and records will be separated by new line. So, so this is how output file on HDFS looks like. So we can summarize that import is done in two stages. 
The first step is to introspect the database to gather the metadata that is the primary key information. And in second stage, Scoop divides the input data set into splits and then uses individual map tasks to push the splits to HDFS. Let us see a basic scoop import command. A basic scoop import command requires you to make a connection to database providing the username and password. The dash dash connect parameter contains the JDBC URL to your database. Here you provide the database name, machine name, port number and then the database name. Then you provide the username and password using the dash dash username and dash dash password parameter. Providing a password in command line can be a security issue. So you can store this password in a file also and then access it using a password file parameter. Then a table parameter for the table name from which you want to scoop the data from. For example, you want to scoop the data from department's table. Now another optional parameters like specifying the target directory. By default, a directory with same name as table name is created under slash user slash cloud era in HDFS. But if you want, you can specify your target directory path in HDFS using target DIR parameter. Where parameter? It's used to import only subset of data. For example, you want to import just the data of department where department ID is equal to 1000. Then the dash M parameter. It is used to specify the number of map tasks. By default, Scoop creates four map tasks. But using dash M parameter, we can control the parallelism and we can define the number of mappers we want. There are some more variations of Scoop import command. Like if you want to import only specific columns from department table or you want to import only matching rows from department table. So if you want to import only specified columns from department table, we will be using dash dash columns parameter. Here you specify the number of uh, names of the columns. Then for importing only matching rows from departments table, you will specify dash dash where parameter and specify the condition. You can also import the entire database using scoop. So instead of scoop import, you will use the in, uh, parameter scoop import all tables. Also, you will specify the location of warehouse directory. One important point to note here is that while importing tables, it's that each table must have a single column primary key. A scoop export command. It is used to export the data back to data source like MySQL. So we get the data into Hadoop, analyze it, and then now we are exporting it back to the data stores. In this command, we use export parameter. Then we also specify the export DIR parameter, the path of directory from which we want to export the data. And then the table name, which should be present in our database, where we want to export the data to. Let us see what is a scoop job. Sometimes we need to repeat import and export commands either on a set schedule or as a part of development process. So for this, Scoop provides the ability to save commands as jobs. So these commands can be executed at any point of time in future. Use the following command to create a save job. Creating save jobs is done with dash dash create action and then we specify whether the job is for import or export. Then we give the other necessary parameters as we give in other Scoop commands. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to import department's table data present in MySQL database to HDFS using a basic scoop import command. I will show you how to create a scoop job also. Let us open our Cloudera VM and get ready to scoop our data from MySQL to HDFS. So by default, Cloudera provides you with MySQL database. First, we need to log in into that database. Let's log in into MySQL database. User is root and password is cloud error. Now we have come to MySQL prompt. Let us see what are the databases present out here. Cloud error is already provided with the databases. We are going to use 
retail underscore DB database. Let's see what are the tables present out here. So we have ample number of tables in the da database. We are going to use departments table uh, to show this example to import data from departments table to HDFS. So we have some records in this table that we can check from select star from departments. Okay, so we have six records here. Now we are going to import this data from departments table to HDFS. Let's open up another terminal and write a scoop import command. Scoop import dash dash connect parameter giving the URL of your database, then the username, password and the table name. This is a simple scoop import command. Now let us run this scoop import command. Once you start running this import command, map reduce job will start working. Once a scoop import command has completed, we can see that our one directory departments has got created in HDFS. We can check it using Hadoop fs minus ls slash user slash cloud error. Here we can see that departments directory has been created by default in slash user slash cloud error. We can also check the contents of this file using Hadoop fs minus cat command. We can see that our data has got imported from departments table to HDFS in part, part M files. We can also check it in hue file browser wherein slash user slash cloud error departments directory is created. Here we can see we have four part M files. This shows that scoop by default creates four map tasks. That's why four part M files have been created and data is stored in these bottom files. Okay, now let us create a scoop job. Scoop job, we will create, we give the job name, then import, then connect and username pa parameter. So this is how we create a new job. We can also execute this job using dash dash exec command. So this is all about how to import data from MySQL to HDFS and also how, how to create scoop job. Thanks a lot for watching our scoop tutorial and for more tutorials please subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can also register for in-depth big data training with a real-time cluster on www.cosoit.com.